Today we're revealing this Shimano 600 tricolor 6400, whatever you want to call it, derailleur. So yeah, let's go. Some tools you're gonna need: screwdriver, pick, Allen keys, and pliers. By the way, this derailleur has already been cleaned up by one of my friends, so if it looks oddly restored, that's why. Also, my barrel adjuster got robbed. Come on, get out. Doesn't want to exit. There we go. And now to service the B-knuckle, just pull back the cage a little bit and unscrew the pin. Now you want to unscrew this little three mil bolt and the cage should come apart. And now for the pinnacle, you want to unscrew this little limit screw, B limit screw bolt. There's a lot of space here, so I would just do it now. Now you want to grab your pick and take off your clip. It should spring out, or if it doesn't, just pull it towards you. And then it pops right out like this. Push out the bolt. And there's a little O-ring right here as well. Now that, now that everything is taken apart, it's time to clean. For this, I usually use an ultra ultrasonic cleaner with some soap and water. But this one's already cleaned down. I've already cleaned it with one er, a long time ago. So I'm just going to be doing a light go over with some brake cleaner, alcohol. You can also use acetone. And if, there, if there's any rust, rusty parts, you can put, put them in vinegar. And remember, if you have any big chunks of dirt, you can use like a, like a steel or a brass brush. All right, now everything's all nice and cleaned down, ready to go. And now for the assembly, another thing you're gonna need is grease. I like to use this park tool stuff or SRAM butter. All right, first thing you wanna do, you wanna grease up this area nice and good. You wanna grab your spring. And for the spring, you wanna have the long end facing up, otherwise it's gonna tear through the seal at the bottom, and if you have a spring that looks differently than mine, you wanna have the side that's recessed in a little bit at the end, you want that to face up. You wanna grab your O-ring, put a little bit of grease on there, just a light sliver, and you wanna grab your bolt and screw, screw it in with a rotating motion like this. After that, you wanna slide on your little gray seal. If it's not loose, it could also be stuck onto your little retaining pin and slide that on. And then after this, you want to grab, you want to have this tab, and you want that to go all the way behind here. You can use your fingers or you can use some pliers for this. All right, so make sure everything is all nice and aligned. Then grab, make sure your clip is on standby and put on your retainer. And now for the binnacle, same thing, you want to grease up this area nice and good. You want to grease up the shaft and grab your spring. You want to have the long end go into one of these holes. Uh, the left one is the more tighter one, the right one is the looser one. I'm going to put mine in the tighter one because this is a road derailleur and it's going to make things a little bit more snappy. Once you got everything greased up, you want to find the hole over here and aim this little pin in there and marry the two together. And then you have to line these up and screw in your bolt. Make sure it goes all the way down like this and then screw in your bolt. And once your derailleur looks like this, you wanna grab your cage and you wanna rotate it counterclockwise all the way around and screw in your pin. Then don't forget to screw in your B limit screw bolt to the spot it was before. And now for the pulleys, you wanna grab your guide pulley. It's the one with a little metal insert in it. You want, I like to put a little bit of grease on here 
You could also use oil. Remember, just don't over grease it. You only need a little bit. And now grab your other bushing. You want to put some grease on the inside of that and screw the two together. And then grab your O-ring, your little rubber seals. You want them to face out just like this. You got the rubber ones on like this. Put on your metal seals. And then you want to put a little bit of strand butter or grease or oil, whatever, on the bolt and put on your pulley. And same thing for the tension pulley. Also, if you took out your little cable clamp bolt, you can't get it through through this side because it's too narrow. So you want to put it, pull back the cage like this. And you want to put it through one of these sides and kind of hold it above you and push it around with like a little pick or something or just tap on it so until it goes in the hole. And then make sure your pulley bolts are all nice and tight. Make sure your pulley's been smooth. Make sure this is all nice and smooth, no rubbing sounds. Put on your bail adjuster and your clamp bolt. And then, then you got yourself a fully rebuilt derailleur. Also, I know I have the, the regular pulleys instead of the ceramic ones. The way you grease them is exactly the same. Just remember, don't use too much grease and you'll be fine. Also, yes, I know I have the wrong barrel adjuster. Go cry about it. And also, I think this derailleur would look a lot better if it had a cutout in the, in the cage. So yeah, anyways, I'll see you. Bye.